dear students in this session we are going to discuss about capacitance at starting you may feel that we are taking much time to understand capacitance no because of lack of basics only in future problems will come for example interview questions will be there there are two important interview questions on capacitor like capacitor how capacitor is blocking dc how it is allowing ac currents is the one question because the moment in between conducting plate the moment we have insulator how current will flow displacement current okay so most of the times actually m theory faculties would uh, tell this but anyway means they will go through like as per calculations and all they will go so what is happening inside the capacitor we should understand okay and second thing is while integration for example some equation will come okay v equal to 1 by c integral i dt one equation will come for that equation why i have to take from minus infinite to t why can't i take from 0 to t these are the two important interview questions now let us see for example what is capacitor okay two conducting plates two conducting plates separated by insulator okay so let me think of capacitance because capacitance is a property property capacitor is a physical reality okay so for example let me think of a capacitor two conducting plates and in between these two conducting plates for example insulator is there first of all we have to understand what is meant by insulator insulator means that at any cost whatever may be the electric field you give whatever may be the temperature we means uh, whatever may be the energy form maybe friction form or mechanical energy or heat energy or whatever it may be those valence electrons are not supposed to come out in the sense means valence electrons will be inside the insulator for example let us think of the difference between conductor and insulator okay so conductor valence electrons are loosely bonded to the nucleus so because of that if you give small electric field or if you expose to light energy or if you expose to what do you say thermal energy means those electrons will come out but insulator is exactly opposite means insulator should not give any of its valence electrons out whatever the situation now under stable isolated conditions okay under stable isolated conditions of an insulating material normally where will be the positive center of gravity means all nucleus will be containing protons so positive will be there okay now let us think of electrons electrons will be rotating like this or like this in 3d pattern it will rotate but ultimately in negative center of gravity also should lie at the same because for example let us think of hydrogen now positive will be at the center okay negative electron will be there so what i am saying is if hydrogen is isolated stable condition my electron has to rotate like this our electron has to rotate like this only such that negative center of gravity also will be lying here only okay for example for example if it is not like this for example let us think of this is the way okay my electron is revolving in orbit for example if you keep it like this if you keep it like this then what is happening negative center of gravity is going to be here negative center of gravity is going to be here so positive and negative is going to be having attraction force such that this orbit has to be slided such that positive and negative should be at the same point now that is means uh, from center of gravity of charges point of view for example let me divide this okay so for example this is the capacitor okay so positive center of gravity and negative center of gravity should lie at the same point so positive center of gravity is there negative center of gravity is also lying at the same point okay now for example for example if i give some positive here negative here field then what will happen positive will have repulsion from here attraction from here and then negative have repulsion from here attraction from here so negative will come up and positive will come down will come down at the same time these electrons can they come out and accelerate towards this no because that was the case in electrical conductor for which Ohm's law is defined so this is insulator so the moment it is insulator it should not give any of its valence electrons out okay so because negative is attracted towards this positive is attracted towards this so two equal and opposite charges displaced by small distance is called as electric dipole okay so for example at starting if this is the case okay at starting if this is the case for example if it is like this okay now once i apply once i apply positive here once i apply negative here then what will happen my electron orbit will be attracted towards this but electron should not come out of it so 
okay such that negative center of gravity will come here because it is having the force it is having the force so means this is going to be the distance okay yet by end of this video i will tell you means why voltage cannot be changed in instantaneous in a capacitor for example hypothetically if you can change voltage across capacitance instantaneously means that you can create black hole okay so for example okay why we'll discuss soon now positive negative is there okay now i will tell you about point charges also in this discussion only stay tuned now for example if i increase if i increase the force okay so the moment i increase the force here electric field intensity so negative will go still go up positive will come down so distance of the dipole distance between the dipole are positive and negative is going to be increased because segregating force is this the attraction force is this for example there is a segregating force between positive and negative so segregating force is there so it is trying to break down the atom okay and what about here positive and negative attraction is there so because of this attraction they will try to recombine because of the segregation force the distance will be maintained so what will happen when segregating force equal to recombining force stable point will come it is like a stretched rubber band okay even in machines also magnetic flux lines also will behave like a stretched rubber bands here also the same because here segregating force is there here recombining force is there so it is like a rubber band it is like a rubber band stretched rubber band for example for example if i reduce the force force of segregation then what will happen negative and positive will come back distance between the dipole is going to be reduced okay for example for example if i give zero if i give zero under that condition positive and negative are going to be recombined okay so positive and negative center of gravity will be united now this is going to be for example this is zero volts this is five volts this is 10 volts this is again five volts this is zero volts okay now see here for example from here to here can i change the position of this from here to here instantaneously or not okay for example this is mass this mass my pen is the mass is having some mass now for example pen is here now can i change the pen position from here to here instantaneously no why because if i want to change the pen from here to here instantaneously means that at that instant how much should be the velocity of this should be infinite okay so the moment velocity of this is infinite means that when the velocity is beyond the light velocity okay means that it will become a black hole it will become a black hole as per theory of relativity okay so as per theory of relativity by einstein nothing can go beyond light velocity because this is mass if it is uh, going at light velocity means that it will lose its mass properties it will gain light properties wave properties okay so means at any cost i cannot change this position from here to here because if anything is going beyond light velocity infinite gravitational pull will come infinite gravitational pull will come now come back to here my positive and negative charges are positive and negative charges are also having some mass properties or not yes yes electron is having some mass okay so means from here to here can i change the position instantaneously no mean that can i change the voltage instantaneously no no so instantaneous voltage change is impossible in a capacitance because if you can do that means that internally black hole you are going to create so complete earth can be sink to your capacitance okay so logically it's impossible to change the voltage across capacitance instantaneously now second thing is how current is flowing how current is flowing now for example means here to here instantaneous change is not possible so gradually it has to move so from here means it has to be segregated slowly it has to be segregated slowly it has to be come back slowly it has to be united slowly it need time it need time for example while having the transition from here to here positive is coming down okay so the moment positive is coming down means that current is in this direction okay now negative is going up negative is going up so negative is going up means that because of that current also will be in positive direction so for example 0 volts to 5 volts if i am transforming okay so if i am changing the voltage across capacitance definitely current will be there for example see here this is the positive 
center of gravity this is the link to center of gravity at starting both are united both are united now for example positive is going in this direction negative is going in this direction so while having the transition positive and negative are going in this direction means that current will be in this direction because this is positive so while having this current will be there okay for example 0 to 5 volts 0 to 5 volts current will be there 0 to 5 volts current will be there once you reach 5 volts constant where is the current current will not be there because current is a change of charge means uh, rate of charge okay so while having 0 volts to 5 volts current will be there once you maintain 5 volts constant current will not be there now from 5 volts to 10 volts current will be there once you maintain 10 volts once you maintain constant 10 volts current will not be there from 10 to 5 charge movement will be there 10 to 5 current will be there Again, in 5 if you maintain constant current will not be there 5 to 0 current will be there what does it mean means that you know that to have current for example if this is ic current okay so see here current is entering into positive okay means that by passive sign convention already we have seen passive sign convention it is absorbing current it is absorbing power okay so see here current direction is here so while having from 0 to 5 volts 0 to 5 volts current will be there if i maintain 5 volts current will not be there if i mean if i'm changing from 5 volts to 10 volts current will be there if i maintain 10 volts current will not be there so what does it mean i see i see is directly proportional to current is directly proportional to if i think of voltage across this voltage across this now my current is it depending upon voltage or change of voltage change of voltage so directly proportional to change of voltage dvc by dt okay that proportionality constant that proportionality constant is called as c capacitance capacitance okay so now next thing is next thing is see here Logically speaking, from here to here, from here to here, my rubber band is being stretched. Okay. So, for example, if you take normal rubber band, rubber band. Now, if you are stretching the rubber band, you have to supply energy. While releasing it, it will deliver energy. Okay. Just feel it. Just feel it. For example, rubber band is there. Rubber band, I am stretching the rubber band. You have to supply energy. While relieving the rubber band, energy will be delivered. So, logically speaking, from here to here, energy will be absorbed from here to here energy will be delivered energy will be delivered so i see whenever you have voltage increment in capacitance it will absorb energy electrical energy whenever you are relieving it it is going to deliver energy it is going to deliver and because from 10 to 5 what is the direction of current plus is going in upward direction minus is coming in downward direction means that positive current is in upward direction means that ic is going to be in this direction okay so 0 to 10 volts variation current will be in this direction 10 to 0 volts variation current will be in opposite direction so voltage polarities are same okay so if you observe voltage polarities are same but current direction is reversed means that it will deliver energy it will deliver energy so logically speaking our passive sign convention whatever we discussed previously is going to be exactly valid here why because my current is entering into positive terminal of voltage the energy will be absorbed by this my current is coming out of positive terminal the energy will be delivered okay so logic here is capacitance is a energy storage element it will not <coughs> what do you say absorb any electrical power like resistance resistance or resistance will absorb energy electrical power and that particular electrical power is going to be transformed into another form okay but here capacitance will not absorb uh, complete energy average power but it's going to be from here to here it's going to absorb from here to here it is going to deliver so energy storage element now what is the equation for us ic equal to c dvc by dt okay so mathematically speaking mathematically speaking how much is vc voltage voltage equal to 1 by c 1 by c integral ic dt okay one logic we have to think here one logic we have to think here so this particular thing why we have to keep from minus infinite to t minus infinite to t for example i have one capacitor i have one capacitor okay so in this particular capacitor yet starting means i did not yet to charge it i did not yet to charge it so under that condition positive and negative will be on the same okay for example i'm i'm increasing the voltage i'm increasing the voltage then what will happen my dipoles will be negative here positive here my dipoles will be like this dipoles will be like this so if i think of dipole positive dipole dipoles okay 
dipole dipole okay now what will happen here for example i charged this i charged this up to 100 volts when maybe 10 years back okay so 10 years back 10 years back in ideal capacitance ideal capacitance 10 years back for example i have taken ideal capacitance and i charged it to 100 volts 100 volts after that i disconnected it okay after that i disconnected it okay and now i disconnected it after 10 years if i open if i open and if i connect the voltmeter how much voltmeter it will read okay for example means 10 years back this is the condition ideally i disconnected this isolated completely under that condition how can current come here current will not flow because it is open circuit but for example in order to reduce this distance okay for example 100 years sorry 10 years back it is 100 volts after 10 years also, 10 years also it should have maintained 100 volts only ideally because this 100 volts will be uh, decided by the distance between the distance of the dipole so distance of the dipole for example 10 years back distance of the dipole is like this okay after that if you feel this 100 volts has to be reduced how can it reduce for example 100 volts has to be reduced means that distance between the dipole distance of the dipole should be reduced okay so distance of the dipole should be reduced means that positive should go up negative should come down means that total positive is going up so current total positive current should come down okay so total positive current should come down in this direction then only voltage across the capacitance will be reduced but in order to have current facility is not there it is isolated it is isolated so without having current voltage change is impossible in a capacitor okay so for example 10 years back i i charged this for 100 volts even now also if i measure this it will give 100 volts under ideal conditions so under ideal conditions without without having current without having ic voltage change is impossible so it should be from minus infinite to t only minus infinite to t only so from minus infinite to zero you will have a constant they have to give in the problem from zero to t we can integrate so ultimately limitation is this now one more thing we have to understand in capacitance okay limitation of coulomb's law limitation of coulomb's law for example means if you think of here distance of the dipole distance of the dipole okay so attraction force if you see the attraction force between positive and negative the attraction force between positive and negative is it more here or more here okay so the attraction force between positive and negative is it will it be more at 5 volts condition or will it be more at 10 volts condition normally people feel that here attraction force will be more here attraction force will be less because they feel coulomb's law what coulomb's law say force of attraction of person directly proportional to q1 q2 by d square so by d square so distance is increased here so force of attraction should be reduced they feel but it is wrong because for example from here to here what is happening segregating force is increased now from here to here segregating force is increased but if recombining force is reduced under that condition negative should break down positive should break down okay so insulation breakdown breakdown of insulation should happen okay but what is happening in here compared to here segregating force is more here but it is stable it is stable means that recombining force or attraction force between these two also should be more but it is easy to against two coulomb's law no because what coulomb's law say may some equation force of attraction represent directly proportional to q1 q2 by d square provided charges are point charges charges are point charges so means are the point charges or not no now is it possible to create point charge for us no why because means for example some material is there some material is there from that material if i remove one electron it is going to be positively charged it is going to be negatively charged okay so it will occupy some space it will occupy some space so is it possible for us to create point charges no now can i say means in that case coulomb's law is useless no no because for example these two charges are there means distance between the these two charges is very high compared to spatial orientation of charges under that condition means we can assume any charges as point charges for example means if i have north star 
north star okay so just by standing here means if i want to show north star i will show with a single finger why because between earth and north star distance is so high so high that means we can show with a single finger so point here is very simple what is that when the distance between these two charges is very high compared to spatial orientation of charges we can assume them as point charges okay now what is the distance between these two is it high no why because it is the orbital distance the angstrom unit stand to the power of minus 8 meters for example black to red if you see for example positive center of gravity is here negative electron is like this orbit okay so a negative orbit is like this for example if i have any attraction or repulsion this orbit only will move this orbit only will move what does it mean distance between the charges cannot be considered as point charges cannot be considered as point charges so these are not point charges means that coulomb's law should not be applied coulomb's law should not be applied so from here to here here to here the attraction force will be increased the attraction force will be increased means how to calculate that attraction force and all your m theory faculty will deal okay so point here is from here to here means the attraction force will be more from here here to here the attraction force will be less from here to here the attraction force or recombining force will become zero so what are the conclusions we learned from here okay basically in a capacitor in order to have current voltage variation should be there one point without having voltage variation current will not flow one thing and second thing is second thing is means at any cost insulator in so this is insulator only no because are these valence electrons are coming out then it will become a conductor valence electrons are not coming out just orbit is sliding orbit is displacing so this is called as displacement current okay so this is called as displacement current means that up to here this is conductor no this plate is conductor up to here conduction current will come this current will be handled by electrons flow of electrons but here the electrons will not come out it is insulator only but still though it is insulator current can flow because of displacement of orbits okay now for example next thing is maybe from minus infinity to t we have to we have to integrate in order to calculate voltage from minus infinity to t we have to do not from 0 to t okay now means this is all about the capacitor all about the capacitor now let us conclude what means direct conclusion what is that for dc for example if i maintain here 100 volts constant 100 volts constant then what will happen how much is going to be the what do you say current current will not be there so for dc it will block okay for ac ac in the sense alternating current so for alternating current automatically current will flow through capacitance okay and immediately after this let us discuss about mutual inductance and inductance